let's talk change. How are you different from other animals? These changes, or adaptations, are defined as characteristics that help an organism survive in its environment. There are two different types of adaptations. The first one we are going to explore is physical adaptations. Plants have many adaptations to help them survive in nature. Some of these adaptations are for pollination. For example, orange colors attract butterflies. Yellow colors attract bees. Red are for the very graceful hummingbirds. And pure white attract moths and bats. Some other adaptations flowers have made are opening and closing at sunrise and sunset in response to changing light. Plant stems, branches, and leaves grow towards the sun, but the roots are pulled down by gravity. Another interesting plant adaptation is that they direct their roots towards water, such as lakes and streams. Plants direct their foliage or branches up, and vines have adaptations that let them use fences and other natural or man-made structures as support for their foliage. Plant life cycles adapt to their habitat also. Some plants only live for a short amount of time while others live for many years. The most diverse adaptation that plants have are their leaves, which can do amazing things, such as capture water, change colors, and act as a fingerprint of the plant. Just like plants, animals have specialized adaptations to help them survive in the ever-changing challenges of nature. Some examples of adaptations that animals have are Herbivorous animals, like horses or cows, have flat teeth to help them grind up grasses. Carnivores, like dogs and cats, have pointed teeth to help them cut their meats. Waterfowl, such as ducks and geese, have webbed feet to help them move through water more easily. Polar bears and otters also have the adaptation of webbed feet for swimming. The ears of animals can play an important role in their lives. For example, think of the desert hare which not only uses its ears to listen out for danger, but to also cool off in its hot desert home. Both eagles and bears use their dangerous-looking claws and talons to catch and manipulate their food, as well as for seeing on trees. The kangaroo's adaptation is its hind legs, which seem backwards. These long, strong legs allow for the kangaroo to move faster and to jump higher than many other animals. Lungs help animals to breathe on land, while other animals use gills to breathe under water. Finally, the most diverse physical characteristics of many animals are their feathers, fur, or scales. These can protect, camouflage, or even keep the animal warm, depending on the particular adaptation. For example, some animals' fur changes colors with the seasons. The Arctic fox's fur is white in the winter to blend in with the snow, and in the summer, it changes to brown. Those changes or adaptations we just talked about were physical adaptations, or things you can see. The next are behavioral adaptations, or changes in the way an animal acts. Many animals will make shelters for protection from predators and weather. Some examples of this are Animals will hide in shady, cool spots during the day to avoid overheating. Paper wasps make nests out of small pieces of plant and paper. And male weaver birds weave grasses into complicated nests to help the males attract a female. Migration is another adaptation. Some animals will migrate to different areas for food, water, or even to produce new offspring. Migratory animals include some birds, butterflies, whales, and bats. Believe it or not, some animals have a way of communicating that is also a behavioral adaptation. Dogs will growl to tell you to stay away from their food. Birds sing. Some animals communicate by touching others. Communication is how young animals learn. Animals also communicate through mating calls and dances. There are some adaptations that are taught or figured out by animals in a specific group, like gorillas using tools such as sticks to retrieve bugs out of trees to eat. Some seagulls have even learned to drop shellfish onto marina docks to break open the shells so they can eat the fish inside. Now you may be wondering if this applies to you. Well, wonder no more, because it most certainly does. As you know, people live all over the world which means there are different ways of living. These different ways of living are, you guessed it, 
adaptations. People living in a busy city aren't going to live like people in an arid or desert area. People are going to sound different, look different, maybe even talk a little differently than you. Take a look at a person near you and look at the color of their skin. It is more likely not the same shade as yours, though it may be close. Now look at the person's eyes and see if they are the same color as yours. If they are, look again and try to notice any changes in the color throughout the eye. Look at your neighbor's hair. Does it look like yours in color or in texture? What about how tall your neighbor is? Who is taller? Is it you or is it your neighbor? These observations you have just made were all about adaptations made throughout time and evolution. Humans have also learned to apply these changes in nature. For example, the armed forces can use camouflage for different situations, like white suits in snowy situation, green leafy colors in jungles, and sandy colors in the desert. Think about this adaptation. The goats climb up a tree to get the berries. Do you think this is a physical or behavioral adaptation? Actually, it's an example of both. Goats have the physical adaptation to be able to climb the tree, and they have learned the behavioral adaptation because they really wanted the berries on the tree.